A few years ago, I made a video showing how to colorize black and white footage using Photoshop. Since then, things have changed a lot. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do it using ChatGPT and Comfy UI much faster and with results that are kind of insane for how easy it is. The colorization process in today's video relies on two main steps. Step one is automatically colorizing a single frame from your black and white video. And step two is using that image as a reference to automatically colorize the entire video. To get started, you will need to export one frame from your video. It doesn't matter if it's the first frame, somewhere in the middle or the last one, as long as your subject is clearly visible. You can use any editing software to do this. But if you're using Premiere Pro like me, just click on this camera icon, choose a saving location and then click OK. Now I'm going to show you two methods you can use to colorize this frame. Before we dive in, if you're into tutorials like this, mixing AI tools with creative workflows, make sure you subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I've got many more tutorials coming. To colorize the reference frame, your first option is Photoshop. And no, you don't need to manually paint over the image. Photoshop actually has an automated tool for that. To use it, go to Filter, Neural filters then enable the colorize filter give it a few seconds and it will automatically colorize your image as you can see photoshop does a pretty solid job at detecting natural elements in the scene for example it recognized the trees in the background and made them green the skin tones also look pretty natural now of course photoshop can only guess the original colors of clothing and other objects so it's not going to be perfectly accurate but the colors it assigns still make sense the nice thing here here is that you have some control, you can tweak the saturation and make other color adjustments if needed. Another tool you can use to colorize your reference frame is ChatGPT. Just upload your image and type colorize this image then hit enter. Give it a few seconds and you should get a colorized version of your frame. Now, obviously it's not going to be a perfect match. The characters and clothing might look a bit different and you will probably notice that ChatGPT doesn't always preserve the original aspect ratio. It sometimes crops the image, which is really annoying, but it's okay. This version is close enough. The colors look much better than what I got using Photoshop and that's all we need to proceed. So go ahead and download the generated image. Next, we're going to use Comfy UI to colorize the full video. If you've used Comfy UI before, awesome. If not, pause this video and check out my 4 minute tutorial where I explain how to install it and walk you through the basics. Once you've installed it, launch Comfy UI using the bat file. It will open in your browser and if this isn't your first time using it, head over to manager and click update all to make sure you're running the latest version. Now to colorize videos in Comfy UI, you will need to install a specific extension. I will leave a link for it down below. Go to this page, open the workflows folder and download the video colorization workflow. Then simply drag and drop the downloaded file into your Comfy UI interface to load the workflow. Once you do that, you will see a window telling you that some required nodes are missing. To fix that, go to manager, click on install missing custom nodes and install each node from the list one by one. This might take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Once that's done, restart Comfy UI. Now, in my case, I still got a pop-up saying the video colorization node was missing even after installing everything. If that happens to you too, here's how to fix it. Go to the nodes page on GitHub, copy the URL, open your Comfy UI folder, go to custom nodes, in the address bar type CMD and hit enter to open the command window, then type git space clone followed by the URL and hit enter to download the extension manually. Once it's done, restart Comfy UI again through the manager and that should fix the missing node issue. If you don't see any red nodes, your workflow is ready to go. Now click here to load your black and white video. Use the frame load cap setting if you only want to process a specific number of frames, but you can leave it at zero to process the full video. Use this node to upload the colorized frame that you created 
it earlier, I've experimented with the settings on this node and found that changing the use half resolution to false often produces better results but requires more resources, I recommend you give it a try. Here make sure the frame rate matches the original rate of your video. You can lower the CRF to around 12 to get higher quality output. Keep in mind this will also increase the file size. Everything else can stay as it is. We've got the black and white video, the colorized reference and now we're ready to process. Click run and ComfyUI will start working its magic. One important thing to note here is that ComfyUI workflows are GPU intensive. The more VRAM your graphics card has, the faster this will go. Once it finishes, you will be able to preview the colorized video here. And as you can see, ComfyUI applies the colors from your reference frame consistently across the entire video and the results look really good. I also tested this method on different types of videos some with landscapes, vehicles, even older low quality footage and honestly it handled them all surprisingly well. The way the colors are assigned looks really natural most of the time. My clip is around 20 seconds long and it took about 5 minutes to process. To find the colorized output go to your comfy UI folder, open output and you will see one PNG file which contains the workflow and two videos one with audio and one without. Now while the colorization looks great, the video quality is still pretty low and we can improve that by upscaling the video using AI. My go-to software for that is Topaz Video AI. Just drag and drop your video in, Topaz will suggest some default settings based on your video. From there, you can choose your upscaling resolution. I want to multiply the original resolution by 4. Make sure you match the frame rate to your original video and then click render to preview the first 5 seconds. Processing time will depend on your hardware. Once it's done, you can compare the original with the upscaled version. At first glance, the difference might not be obvious, but if you zoom in, you will notice a real improvement in sharpness and detail. For example, here the difference is clear on the bow tie. I can see cleaner patterns and edges. You can push this even further by selecting a different AI model. I'm going with Rhea, which is one of the most advanced models in Topaz Video AI. Click render again and give it some time. This one might be a bit slower, but trust me, the results are worth the wait. Look at how it smoothened the skin and restored fine details. The video looks much, much sharper. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Other than that, stay creative and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!